This is good. Oh, yo, what? yo, 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 hey guys, Smallmouth Crush in studio, Epic Eric. Crazy. How about that? It's gonna be a fun one. A I'm good one. I'm excited. Here. We're like, we gotta put out a video since we rarely get together in the same room. That's pretty cool. When we're not on a boat. And when boat the internet's safe. working. Yes. But since we're filming, it doesn't we matter. don't have to worry. So we've been having a blast with the live feed every Wednesday enjoy night. It, we're gonna enjoy continue it. doing that. We're gonna get into it all. It's all coming up. On Smallmouth Crush. Hey, before we get into the video, I just want to make a quick announcement. I actually teamed up with a tackle company, a tackle store, back in my home state of Wisconsin. And I'm going to be showcasing a, a variety of different baits and techniques throughout the next year on my channel. And anytime the Real Shot actually has those baits available to purchase, I'm going to put those links in the description below. Uh, that's just going to help. I get a little kickback uh, for the channel if I direct people to the website. And they have a lot going on over at the Real Shot. I'm going to put those links down below. And uh, if you guys purchase from that, it just helps out the channel. All right, here we go. So we're a little dressed up for good reasons. We just don't wear button down shirts for. Often and I don't have a hat on. No Shimano hat. No, that's visor, weird. Man. Nothing. No visor. Our nothing. hair's all done up. Why is that? Ready to go because we're going to a charity Ooh, event tonight, it's be man, fun. for the Ike Foundation. Yep. You mm -hmm. know the goal is to raise money for scholarships for kids. Get them into fishing. Hook them early. It's going to be a blast. Well, Everyone's going to be there. I know a lot of you guys watching. Probably some of you will be. Hopefully there. we'll see you tonight. Hopefully. And if not, we'll see you this weekend at the Harrisburg. That's show. right. Right on. What are we talking about? Well, what are we doing in here? What is this? All right, so I'm excited. We have not tried the new Z-Man Giant TRD, and I wanted to make a, a breakdown because this thing is a beast. We're talking, is, man. that's full size, bro, Heem. Dude, that is like, it looks a like full, a mini freaking hot dog. A full size hot dog, oh, if you will. What the heck, man? Oh. I'm, I'm excited. It's got some salt in there. I can feel it when I stretch it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. I went a little crazy. Uh, earlier in the year, yeah. I bought a bunch of these. I got them too. Because I knew, I'm a huge fan of the TRD, the big TRD. Small mouth, large mouth, doesn't matter. Spotted. I I haven't got. Show bass. You probably have caught I, a few I, 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 I caught some spots, but no show bass. I didn't know if you, you ever caught a show bass? Showing around. I I'm think just, I have. You have? Where? Have you caught a uh, Sawani? I have not. Is there, is there Didn't even thing? know it existed. I don't know. What about either. a Hawaiian bass? No, not yet. Let's try it. <laughs> this year, it's all coming up. There you small go. I love crush. it. I love it. Well, let's get into so the So anyways, man. yes, the big, the, the, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Two things, man, yep. right? Mm. They made the bait, but they also made the head to go with it. Yes. Head to head. So what size we got here? This is a uh, 3 8 ounce. Yeah, so 8, what do you got? 3 16 quarter and 3 8. Mm -hmm. What Z-Man did with these is they actually put the real weight system, like, normal uh, English Americans can understand. Right, because I right. hate that fifth of an ounce. And I that. didn't know what I had to convert it. You yes, know, doing calculator out in the boat. It's ridiculous, Way man. too much work. Now we know. Finally. We want an eighth ounce. We want a three sixteenth, a quarter, or a three eighths. For I think it covers, it covers pretty much all the main depths. I mean, unless you were maybe fishing a real deep ledge yeah. with some current, you, you might want to have. Half and I'm sure you could find some, some hooks out there on yeah. the market. Yeah. But these are definitely the deal. And I mean, it's a gaff of a hook too, you know? Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. sharp, they're sharp. We rigged a couple up. We got one tied on right here. Beautiful, it pairs well, looks great. What more can you say? I, I don't know. Let's go to the tank demo, man. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's oh, check yeah. it out. So I'm gonna share with you guys what this big TRD actually looks like in the aquarium underwater. And uh, man. I'm excited. I've not I've not tested it out yet. I, we'll let's, see what we're like. waiting to see, man. Fresh water in the tank. It's ready to go. Right. All right. Man. All right. Go. Here we go, man. Big TR, TRD test. No, it's the, this is the giant 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 TRD, TRD test. One in the water. In What's I gonna do? Whoa! Oh, what dude. the heck, man? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the action. And, and I'm just like jiggling it. Man, let's do that again. Let's Continue flip. It, it just floats up off the bottom. Look at that, man. I mean, like, mm -hmm. got a little splash there on my head, wow. but I like it. I mean, it's got a, it's got some action. Yep. Look, Look at that. it shimmer side to side. And then you know the hook is in the correct position at yep. all times. I see. Yep. Throw her back in there. Let's see let's one, more one more time. time. Yes, that's a winner there. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Can hop it. Mm -hmm. cool, I'm man. sold. I'm, I'm ready. Sold. Let's I'm ready go. To do it. I'm ready to do it, man. Look at that the vertical presentation. That's pretty good. That bait almost sits vertical. Check that out. That's kind of. Well, I mean, I did have. I was aided were, by the tank. Yes. I, let me see I don't I, know if you'd be able to. No. Oh. <laughs> wow. That thing is almost vertical. Can Dude. you. What? For sus look at that. I For see suspended that. fish? I never realized it would sit level. Right. Come on, dude. Um, yeah. Look at that. I see. Are you joking I'm me? I'm freaking out right me now. Me too. I never realized that. <laughs> Not that I've ever tried to fish for suspended bass with a giant TRD, right. but I mean. That's nice. Wow. Wow. Yep. Okay. So yep, for yep, comparison, yep. we did, we wanted to do something interesting. So we got. We did. Yep. A seven inch Senko. Guys, I'm a big fan of the Senko too. Seven they incher. catch fish, the big seven incher. So let's see. Let's, let's compare them. Okay? okay. Let's set them side by side. Side by side. Yeah. Good idea. So definitely a longer bait. Yes. But this the, is fatter. The seven inch Senko's longer. The Z Man is actually a little bit wider, a little fatter by the hook here. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, all the way through the bait. Mm hmm. Really? Except for the tail section. Now, I do not fish a seven inch Senko a whole lot on a shaky head type of application. Yeah. Uh, I like to uh, Texas rig that without a weight, yep. uh, wacky rig it in the grass, things like that. So, but it would be interesting just to see how they would look underwater. So yep. let's. Uh, Let's compare the two. Can you? Okay. Can you? Uh, All right. I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip the Senko in first. All right. Let's there see. it is. Oh. Okay. So it. Let's no see. buoyancy. No buoyancy. Let's see if I was going. If I couldn't fish it vertical for bass, but it might be good on a Nico. There you go. Anyway. So yep. there's your there's your Senko. So I'm just going to leave that in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to toss the TRD in. Well, you've already seen it. Look there at that, go. man. Here we'll do a side by side action comparison. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm biting that. I'm, I'm, biting, I'm biting that giant TRD. I'm right? biting that TRD. And I mean, because you know, if I'm shaking this, it's shaking on the bottom. And really, look, it's only the head giving it the action. You know, the tail. Sure. I mean, it gets a little action. Now, listen, you're going to stir up the fair. bottom a little bit more with that sure. sinko, right? There's applications. There is yeah. a time and place. Fish bite that. Okay, we're not saying they're not going to bite that bait. But I don't like. Look how it rolled on me. Sure, that hook is rolling constantly. It's not staying. I didn't like. Man, I'm pulling that straight into a log. I'm snagged. Can yeah, you're right. Can you bring the boat over, Travis? I need to get unhooked. That's gonna that big TR that giant TRD will Unhook. probably slide over structure a little bit yeah. better too. Because you can see how that hook is, is folding over on that on that seven inch. See how it just goes down into the into the rocks there? Interesting, mm. man. Very interesting, man. That's a cool little demonstration. I dig it. And look how the TRD tail, if I it's shake it. Not yet, bro. I'm telling okay. you what it is. Now it is. So, so I'll shake the TRD, but look how the tail continues to move a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. The Senko stops, but if I shake the TRD... And stop it, there's movement. And look, there's movement. If there was any current, that thing Dude, would be moving Dude, we're not touching it right now. Yeah. It's slightly moving. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Yes. Secondary action. Okay. Behind the scenes, look in the Small Mouth Crush Studio. Uh-huh. What are we checking out today, man? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Giant TRD. Giant TRD and Senko competition. Which one would you throw? And check out that gaff hook. Huge! Pretty cool, man. In it studio is. with with the Travis himself, filming you, filming me. Yes, we are. That is what. That's this has never been done. Never. This is never. groundbreaking right <laughs> now. I'm filming you, filming me, and this is filming us together. Oh, what? This is three layers of filming. <laughs> yes. It's it's. Like the fifth dimension of hey, filming. Look, yeah, we, there's a I, little bit more. I didn't think we had. I thought we were. Done. I want to talk about where you would throw this. Oh yeah, talk yeah. About maybe the rods and reels and stuff like that. Okay, okay. yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Well, so that was pretty cool. That that in the tank uh, demonstration, this guy here just kind of stood up and did his thing. Yeah, it's dancing, man. I mean, that's what Z-Man products are known for. That's what they do. They're going to be very durable. You're going to be able to catch multiple fish without having to burn through a bunch of baits. No question about it. Oh, where man, I would man. throw this, man, rocks, grass. What I'm thinking. Grass edges. Grass edges for sure, because I love me a seven inch wacky rig Senko, right? On a well, grass guess edge, what? Big bite. You put me in some nice, deep little grass edge, pitch this in there. How about on a bed? Ooh. Bed fishing? That too. I mean, my Applications God. are endless. Would they want to like destroy it or what? Crazy. 
You can certainly fish around wood with that exposed hook. Get hung up a little uh, bit. Yeah, do they make a, a weedless version of this giant? They do. I don't, they do, they of the giant TRD. Uh, uh, guessing, I think they, they might. have to. I think I ordered If some. they don't, they will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure they do. I think they do. I'm gonna throw this on a spinning rod. What? Yeah, no, dude, hear not. me out. No, dude, Bro, no. I have to, I, I have to be one. That doesn't make any it's, sense. Because it's not that much bigger. If, especially if it's an eighth. Hold on, hold on, wait, time, time, time. Uh, if, it's, uh, if it's an eighth. Look at the, look at the diameter. A of medium stuff. seven foot spinning rod, braid to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Man, I think that's just a little too much. You really, really want do. to throw I, this on the big cast? Uh, absolutely, I'm looking at what, the diameter. 12 to 14? Yes, I'm looking at the diameter of this hook and I'm looking at the diameter of the giant hook because this is a big TRD hook. Sure. That thing's got a lot more metal, man. So I, I think maybe we could try it. So you're telling me I need to buy another? You got a call in the know. middle of our show. So, it's ruined. <laughs> so you're telling me? You're telling me I need to buy another rod? Real no, you have a rod. I throw it on a jig rod. Mm. Absolutely. For real? Yeah, just let him suck that bait in. What do you throw a big seven-inch senko on anyway? Sure. Your bait caster. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. I Maybe. just feel weird working this like a shaky head on a bait caster. I do. No, dude. You got it. Yes. All right. Bait caster. Okay. Same rod you throw the uh, Senko on Wacky or Texas Rig. You know one good. thing I want to do? Will this slow sink or is this going to float in the tank? It should slow sink. Let's see. It floated. It floats. So you'd have to have a weighted Wacky. Yeah. Have you ever tried to Wacky that with a weighted Wacky? Yeah. Well, we're... Do you have a wa weighted Wacky hook? I do. You want to try it? I think we should. All right. Coming up. We have to now. Yes. That'd be cool. Can't wait to see it. Guys, I don't know if this is uh if it's gonna sink or not. This is interesting. No, I'm thinking that's not heavy enough. We're gonna find out. Because that's a pretty buoyant piece of plastic there. Yep, man, absolutely. And we just throw it in the tank. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm just tying a knot that I normally don't tie because it's easy. That's fine. You don't have to explain it to us. I'm gonna tie a granny knot. Granny knot. Yeah. All right, so I have these uh, these weighted hooks that I really like to... Uh, Is that Falcon? Yeah, I'll throw them on the Senko, a 7-inch Senko, these Falcon um, weedless. Okay. Let's see if that'll actually sink. Though. Will it sink or will it float? I don't know. What's your guess? You got to guess. You got to weigh gonna, in. it's going to sink. Okay, Travis says it's going to sink. If it's going to sink, it's going to sink super slow. Test starts in now. Wow. Dude. Whoa. Look at that, the hook is down. I don't know. Dude. Why is that? Why does it do that? I don't know what to think right now. Why does it? I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Look how slow that sinks though. Okay, so I'm gonna just start from the top. Oh, wow. That's super slow and it's it's like hovering. I'm not holding on, well I, well, I guess I was. Dude, that might be another application. But, but we, should, we, should, we should look at a seven inch Senko now. All right. You want to burn another Man, seven this, inch The stuff you learn. I know, it's crazy. This is a very slow sink rate. And that was on the heavier hook. Right, right. Right? Mm hmm. Let's try the seven inch Senko. Let's see how fast that goes to the bottom. With all that salt, that thing's going to sink like a stone. Right? Yeah. Is that what we're putting on? Okay, okay. hold on. Hold okay. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got to hook it down behind the egg sac. Got a lot of tail, man. Whew. Big bait. All right, so now we're wacky rigging a sinko like we like I normally fish it. Seven inch. Seven inch. Seven inch. Okay. I mean, look at that, man. That, that falls was that falls quick. fast. Wow. See that little, but see that there's that there's that sinko the shimmy. shimmy. That's the that's the that's the beauty of a sinko wacky rig. You yep. see how both ends of that tail. Yep. It's hard to tell because we're only getting a foot fall rate. But here. The, you can see it if you did in slow motion. Mm -hmm. Right? Man, I really like how that, that giant TRD sinks it's super too. Super slow. So when would you use that versus that? Maybe when the fish were like in a negative mood, mm -hmm. post frontal conditions, you know? Yep. yep. It would take, I mean, that bait was sinking like what? Not even a foot a second. Yeah. Huh. So this is about what? A foot? Let's time it. All right. So the sink rate on this is like, I don't even know. That thing was going straight to the bottom. Very quick. So this would be, it's about a foot, right? So just sure. we'll do the old 1001. 
All right. And this is on the heavier one. Sure. Okay. Yes, we have different. There's different weights right. that you can use. That's so this is probably one. an eighth. No, sixteenth. No, three thirty second. Hell, I don't know. I don't know, man. But it's Go light. Sixteenth. Yeah. Okay. So this is about a foot of water. Let's see how long it All takes right. to get to the bottom. All right. Starting. Go. One thousand one. One thousand two. Oh, you freaking Z-Man was in the way. Yep. Let's okay. start over. Reshoot. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. So about two and three quarter seconds. Right. So Per foot. Yeah, if you were fishing in three to five foot of water, that could be like 10 to 12 seconds to get to the bottom, almost 13. Wow. I mean, that's just like slowly creeping. If you put it on the lighter hook. Sure. That might not even go down. That might be really good, dude, on the flats. Yeah, because I mean, you know, how many how many wacky rig Senko said they seen just go straight to the bottom. Sure. Now, so is it the sink rate that gets them or the action? Does this have any Let's like see wobbling? Action. Not really, no. man. That's just a do nothing sink. But when it hits, it it gives it a little bit of bounce. Yeah, and then you know. There's a little. Not not as much. There is, dude. I see a little. I mean, certainly if when you're when you're wacky pulling, you know. Yep. Yep. A little bit, man. I'm in. It's, it's it's rod imparted. It's so weird how that hook just rotates to the bottom. Right. I don't know about that part because it's such a buoyant bait. It see how that hook just rotates sure. down. I don't know. That could present problems. Well, or it could present opportunities. You're gonna have to let them suck it in. Yeah. Man. Well, I mean, they eat it pretty heavy, so they're just gonna. You're, all you're gonna see is your line moving up. And that's man. fascinating. That's yeah. fascinating. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. What? This is three layers of filming. Uh, yes. It's. it's I really love to wrap this video. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. That's I okay. My story, man. I was so enamored. That's okay. Yeah, the third dimension of filming was kind of cool. All right, here's the deal. I got green pumpkin, black and blue yoga pants. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. yoga pants? Ah, uh, that's. What's the story with yoga pants, bro? It's I... not quite black. What I think is it? Because sometimes when women wear yoga pants, you can s they're translucent, <laughs> and that's what this bait is. <laughs> it's. I'm not you seeing can kind much. of see a little I'm bit. I'm not seeing you much. You can see a little bit. Why else is it Dude, called this, yoga pants? This looks straight black to me. No, it's there's not. no light coming through. Well, with this with this giant, yes. If you take a, a the little one, the little TRD, yeah, yeah. you certainly can see through. I, I've seen it. That's true. That's true. But this is more black than yoga, yoga pants. Yeah, they put a heavy on the color. A little borderline. Z man. A maybe. little play. They wanted to maybe keep up with uh, Reaction Innovations names for their baits. They were a little more raunchy on that. A little baits. raunchy. Yeah, we won't go into those. Well, but I mean, fish to me, no. Pants. No, everybody no, loves man. yoga pants. I, I, so. Bass love them. They do. They do. Those are the three colors. They have a bunch of colors, you guys. I encourage you to try them. I'm going to be trying them this year. We're going to catch some fish on them. Don't forget I want the heads. Hear, Don't yes. forget the heads to go with them. I want to hear if you guys have caught some fish on it. Let, it, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our videos. Uh, we're going live every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Until we, we get bored. Until we get. Or until fishing season starts. I don't know. Right. right. How's, we'll that, how's that internet connection going on? Good. We, I think we got okay. some things That's good. That's good. That's good. Right. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, Leave in the share. Comments below. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the Ooh, water right. with some giant TRDs. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right.